back to my channel. Wow, it does not stop raining here. Seriously, I live in Tennessee and the rain just keeps coming down. I wish it was snow. But I am just so happy you guys are here today. I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of videos you would like to see this month. And so many of you said a Bible study quiet time routine. So I thought I would show you guys my date with Jesus. This is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. It is such an exciting day. I just love love. If you guys don't have a boyfriend or girlfriend that you'll be celebrating with today, consider having a little date with Jesus. So I just wanted to show you guys my quiet time routine, what I do. This is not saying this is the perfect perfect way or what you guys have to do. This is just to help you guys or give you guys some inspiration if you're needing some. So this is just what I have been doing for my quiet time lately. I've really, really enjoyed it. It's just really helped me dive into the Bible directly. I love doing Bible studies and I will do that with my group, my small group. But right now we're doing a study that doesn't involve homework. So I'm like diving into the actual Bible and I love it so much. I just finished Acts and Romans and now I'm on John. So I have been just loving digging directly into the word and you guys will see what I do today. So if you guys have any tips or tricks that you love, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. Also leave one book in the Bible that you are excited to read this year. If you guys are new believers, I would highly recommend starting out with the book of John and then reading Acts. Oh my gosh, Acts is probably one of my favorite books ever. So if you guys need some inspo, there you go. If you guys go watch my Valentine's gift ideas, haul I'm giving away my same Bible so today is the last day to enter if you're watching it on Valentine's Day today's the last day so make sure to go enter on that video in the comments and hopefully you win that Bible I'm also giving away a Bible on my Instagram so I think it's still going on by the time you watch this video I hope it hasn't ended yet so you'll have two chances to win a new Bible if you guys want one so I'll link that video down below if you want to check it out with that being said let's get on into my quiet time or daily date with with Jesus when you think about it it really is like a date like when you love someone you want to spend time with that person and you make time for that person so God craves a relationship with us so the more you read your Bible and the more you learn about him the more you'll crave it I promise I know it's hard to be disciplined and do it every day but even if it's just like five minutes a day to start out with you'll just start wanting it more and more and it will just come naturally to like crave it I definitely notice the days when I go without doing my Bible study I'm just like oh I know I'm missing something I know I'm missing God so I always like regret it when I don't do my Bible study so make a little date with Jesus in the morning if you guys don't prefer the morning you can do it at night I just prefer doing it in the morning because I feel like it just sets up my whole day um, and I just can like focus my mind on the truth so I can live out my whole day knowing that truth anyways I hope you guys enjoy this video let's go ahead and get on into it To start off my morning, Kyle always makes me a London Fog, which is Earl Grey tea, milk, and vanilla syrup. I ran out of vanilla, so I just used honey this morning. It's so nice because I literally have my own live-in barista, aka my husband. He always makes my tea just right. Seriously, when I try to do it, it's never as good. After I've made breakfast, I sit down and start my morning with Jesus. Sometimes I will light a candle for a little ambiance, but rarely. I pull out my Bible, prayer journal, and my handy little Bible pens. I'll link them below if you guys want to check them out. I use the New Living Translation Study Bible and I really love it. There are so many different translations. A few of my favorites are NLT, ESV, and NIV. Today I'm reading John 4 where Jesus talks to the woman at the well. If you haven't read this passage yet, you definitely should. Jesus tells the woman fetching water that he could give her living water where she will never have to thirst again. 
I usually read a chapter or a half chapter a day. There are so many amazing miracles in the book of John that sometimes I like to split it up. I love soaking in every story and passage in the Bible instead of trying to just rush through it and get a whole chapter done. So take your time, there's no rush. Ask God to reveal to you what he wants you to learn for that day. I love underlining verses that teach me something new, spark my interest, or verses that spoke to me. I end up pretty much highlighting the whole page, but I don't care. After I'm done reading the passage for the day, I make my way down the page to the study notes. The study notes help me with questions I had while reading the chapter. The study notes coincide with each verse and explain the culture, history, and background. It's sometimes difficult to understand the culture back then when it's so different from our culture today. So the study notes really help me understand the customs back in Jesus' day. After I read all the study notes for the chapter, I pull out my prayer journal. Prayer journaling has really helped me grow in my prayer time and my connection with Jesus. When I pray in my head, I often get distracted by my own thoughts, so I find writing down my prayers really helps me stay focused. Another benefit to writing down my prayers is that I can look back and see which prayers God has answered. I can't tell you how many times I forgot I prayed for something and God answered it. And then I go back and look through my journal and I'm like, oh my gosh, God answered my prayer and I didn't even realize it. I always make sure to date my prayer entries too. I love seeing God's timeline and where my heart was at a certain time in my life. One thing I love about this prayer journal is it has a section called God is Good Because, and every day I will write down why God is good and what I'm thankful for. It really helps my heart feel joy and gratefulness when I actively write down everything God has blessed me with. After that, I close my prayer journal and start my day. Waking up and making Jesus be at the forefront of my mind really helps me live my day for Him, and when trials come, I remember the truth that I read that morning. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little date with Jesus, my quiet time routine. I just want to remind you guys, there's no perfect way to do a quiet time. There's so many ways to connect and learn more about Jesus. So you can do a Bible study, you can read directly from the Bible, you can write down your prayers, you can speak your prayers out loud. There's so many different ways. Um, so just remember that. Just, you don't have to like copy me. Do what's best for you guys and the best way for you guys to learn. What really helps me is like underlining my Bible or if highlighting or underlining doesn't work, you do your thing. Just remember the more you read and the more that you make spending time with Jesus a habit, it will become easier. I know it's really hard at first, but just do like five minutes a day, like I said, and then work your way up to more. Like I don't even have to work my way up to it anymore. When I see the time and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go. Like this is so sad. So it's just, it's literally like meeting with a friend, even though you can't see the friend. Like when you're reading God's word, it's so powerful that it feels like he's speaking to you sometimes. Times. Not all the time, but a lot of times I'm just like blown away by what I've learned. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to leave it in the comments down below. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. That really helps support my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Come to the water where you will find peace. Take a step into the river. Get down on your knees. Mountain while taking in the view.